Great Dane Explain. This is Great Dane Explain, coming to you today with a video I believe you really need to see. So, this took place in San Francisco. So rad, bro. And this is Philip Anderson here, the gentleman right here. Now, he works for Team Save America. He decided to hold a free speech gathering. That's what he's known for being, a free speech advocate, has his own company, his own business. And it was for the purpose of fighting big tech censorship, specifically Twitter. Because if you've been following the news and not living under a CNN-labeled rock, you know that big tech is censoring people in mass right now, right before the election. So he held this rally, and let's see what took place. All right. Now, as you can see, Philip here is already holding his face. It's because right before this video, he was sucker punched once by the uh, sweethearts on the right side here of the screen. Boom. Let's see that again. Completely sucker punched. Looks like Antifa. He's trying to figure out where to go. Gets behind the barrier. Where are the police? Oh, there's one. Oh, she looks like she's, or he, or I don't know, backing away. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, do your job. So there you go. Completely sucker punch in broad daylight. Cops don't really do anything. And here were the, uh, this was the result of that sucker punch. Boom. I know it's a graphic image, not exactly uh, sexy to look at, but it's the truth. So, let's just think about this. A black man holding a free speech rally, sucker punched by some Antifa member, I don't know who it was. Teeth knocked out. No media coverage. Fundraiser was held for Philip. They raised over $28,000. All right, which is great. But what happened right after that? That's his Twitter account. Suspended. So, Philip Anderson went to a free speech rally of sorts to combat big tech censorship, gets sucker punched, gets his teeth completely knocked out. He's gonna need major oral surgery there. And then Twitter decides to pitch in by banning him. You can check it out here on, this comes from the sun. Cry about it, Antifa demonstrators punched pro-Trump protesters teeth out now, yes, this guy does happen to be a Trump supporter, but this was not a Trump rally. Trump was not in town. Trump was not even in, I don't even think he was in California that day. He was still in Georgia or Wisconsin, but they just held a rally to uh, be advocates for free speech. Scroll down a little bit. Team Save America organizer had to be hospitalized with his injuries after getting a city permit, had his permit, which was canceled minutes after it started. I can't imagine why. So, you can check it out on The Sun. But why no national media coverage? Now, imagine there's a Black Lives Matter gathering, some Trump supporters, you know, because that's the supposed enemy of Black Lives Matter. Some Trump supporters show up and sucker punch a black guy, knocking his teeth out, who's a part of Black Lives Matter. It would be everywhere. CNN would cover it. MSNBC would cover it. There'd be national coverage for sure. His fundraiser probably would have raised, I don't know, half a million dollars. There'd be a moment of silence across the country. We'd have riots break out throughout the US, maybe even a couple in Europe just for fun. But because it doesn't fit the narrative, it's hidden from mainstream. So keep that in mind, all you rebels who just so happen to agree with Google, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, 
any huge company, huge corporation. Man, so rebellious. We're part of the resistance, bro. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Twitter doesn't care about the color of your skin. They don't care about white people, white people. They don't care about black people, Latin people. If you're not spewing their narrative, they'll come after you. As we see here. The guy is literally a free speech advocate fighting against big tech censorship, gets his teeth knocked out, and then big tech bans him. So spread this story, okay? Help me out here. Let's subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and make sure you comment below. All right, go support Philip. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.